Hello everyone, and welcome to this uh, instructional unit on leveraging student-owned devices. Um, I thought before I got into the course itself, I might talk a little bit about um, a little bit of the, about the history of um, why uh, why I approach this particular topic. Um, you know, for the past thirteen years, uh, or thirteen years previous to my new position, um, I worked in the e-learning department, and you know, I worked with a lot of faculty in. Um, in our computer classrooms, uh, towards the end of, of my uh, tenure as e-learning director, uh, we had purchased iPads uh, for faculty to use in the classroom. And, and one thing that I was noticing is that um, with all of this college-owned equipment, uh, that there was, there was an increased uh, instructor workload uh, you know, in, in leveraging these tools. And, and that came in the, in the form of, of technical support. Faculty um, would would serve as a technical support resource in the classroom because you know we didn't have IT folks in in all these classrooms to provide that support and students were using devices that they weren't always familiar with and so um, they would need help in in leveraging the tools uh, to be able to complete assignments and those kinds of things so so I'd been thinking about you know ways to kind of reduce um, that tech support workload um, if possible, and and the idea had been percolating for a while as I had noticed more and more uh, students bringing their own devices uh, to campus, um, and that you know, and I I, I discovered that as as um, you know it, through the e-learning council, we had done a survey uh, of all the thirty four community and technical colleges and found you know just a huge increase in you know in technology that was being brought to campus. So that included smartphones, tablets, uh, laptops, you know, all these various devices. And we were seeing that, um, that load on our wireless network on campus as well. And so the, the idea kind of struck me is, you know, if we could, if instructors could leverage those devices, um, then, you know, then maybe that could reduce uh, the technical support workload because students would be using devices that they're comfortable with, they're used to using. Um, and, and it wouldn't be something that's unfamiliar uh, to them. So a, as I started my, uh, my program, uh, master's program at, at Western Governors University, uh, this was kind of the, the idea that I was working towards um, uh, for the capstone project. And I was thinking, you know, how can we, you know, how can we make it easy for faculty to, to leverage these devices? And so through the course of this particular instructional unit, um, that the thought behind it is to to show you ways um, to to work, you make your assignments, uh, especially those assignments where you have some kind of a digital artifact that students turn in. Uh, you know, making those assignments more um, operating system and device agnostic. Um, so it doesn't really matter what the students are using as long as they can get you an artifact that you can open on your machine and uh, for the grading purposes and assessment purposes. So that's kind of the history um, behind this topic, and in future videos, we'll I'll cover um, you know the course layout that we're going to be using Canvas for this course, um, and and one other digital tool, a blogging tool, and so I'll cover um, those aspects of the course, and then I'll have uh, some introductory videos uh, before uh, various assignments and, and different lessons. So I hope you enjoy um, this uh, short instructional unit. Um, and I really appreciate um, your, your willingness to participate. Thanks.